everybody, I'm Fam at Easter. And the topic is fleas. Um, they are just horrible little things that drive us and dogs crazy. Oh, I hate fleas and even worse, I hate ticks. Um, with the explosion of fleas, I know, especially down here in the South in Texas, oh my gosh, it starts in February and I think it probably ends at the end of December. Seriously, we only have a couple months worth if we have a strong winter. Um, so my Southern peeps, you know how bad it is for the Northern peeps that are just trying to get ahead of what's going on or struggling with an infestation. Um, it's definitely key to re be able to remove ticks and fleas from your dogs. Um, I've already talked about how to remove ticks, but I want to talk about how to remove fleas. Um, fleas are, ticks are gross, but fleas are fast. Um, so there's a little bit of a technique there to that. Um, the one thing that I like to do is, I mean, of course, you can give your dog supplements ingesting and then they'll kill it bites the dog and it'll kill the fleas, but I just don't want fleas on my dogs biting them. I mean, you can see them jump and then start scratching because of fleas, especially if it's a bad infestation. So every other day, depending on how bad the infestation is, I like to sit down and just go through with my dog, go through their coat and just pull out any fleas that they have. Um, this is when it's a really bad infestation. Now, we really don't have an issue because we've been keeping up with it, but especially the first three to four weeks, this is a good thing to do. And plus it's calming, it's a bonding time between you and your dog. So what you'll need, of course, is a good quality flea comb, okay? And what this is, is the teeth are so fine that they're able to pull that flea up out of the hair so that you can see it. The problem with this is, is if you just use this and you go into your dog's coat and you pull the flea, and when you pull the flea up, out of the dog's coat, the flea's like, oh crap, you see me, bing, and they're gone. That's okay. That's where you use some of this cedar oil. And I like to take some and spray cedar oil onto my flea comb both sides and go through and at least stuns the flea and the flea's not able to jump off. Next, I keep a paper towel with alcohol right next to me. So if you do find a flea, just pull it out and you wanna go ahead and put it into the paper towel, the alcohol co uh, covered paper towel. So if you do you find a flea, take it and then immediately put it and wrap it in the paper towel that has alcohol in it, wipe it, and then you'll eventually see the flea and then you can kill the flea. All right, let me give you a tutorial on how to kill a flea. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, but those are the things they're tough. When you have a flea that's in here, you have to squish them between your thumbnails. Doing this with your fingers does nothing. When they finally come back to wherever there you are because of the cedar oil, they start bouncing in there in your house. Once you've stunned them, you've got them in the alcohol, fold the paper towel over them, and then squish it between your thumbnails, and you'll hear a a pop. He's dead now. Okay? That's the only way to do it. It's gross. I know. I'm sure that's what you want to do is how to kill a flea. So anyway, so that's what you want to do. Start at your dog's head right behind their ears, okay? Because if you start further back, fleas will be like, okay, uh, you know, I smell cedar oil and they start running and they'll hide in your dog's ears. And then your dog will start scratching and it's a mess. Start right behind their ears and just go down their neck a couple of times, pull the comb out, take a look and then see. Then go back down again the comb out look see start start at the back of the neck and go all the way down okay you, they're not usually on the dog's paws or their legs but it's still nice to go ahead and see especially if they've just been outside they could be coming up that hairline and coming up to the leg um, usually where you will find fleas is right there on the back of the t rump of a dog's tail I'll show you where, where I'm talking about Okay, so this is Miss Stella, and it usually, if there's gonna be fleas, they're right here. This little area right here, and all around the behind area. Okay, so this is gonna be usually the area that they're concentrated in. You know where to really, really, really look, but the thing is you don't wanna start there, okay? Because then they'll just start running forward and hiding your dog's ears and your dog's face. Ears back, go through. Short-haired dog, that's not a problem. Um, she's really easy. 
got Stella drinking water in the background. Yes, this is real video. So Bip's hair is a little bit longer and a little bit thicker. What I like to do is kind of push, say the hair, the hair growth is growing this way. I like to take the hair and push it opposite of the hair growth and just kind of go in let a little hair out, go in, let a little hair out, and then go in, especially for some of the longer coated dogs. If your dog's coat's really long and you got a flea issue, you may want to think about clippering your dog a little bit on the short side, or you may need to do like a Soresto collar or something. Okay, so that is how to find a flea and kill it on your dog. You will be shocked <laughs> how many you find. Also, too, while you're going through, you can pull up these little pieces of dirt. It looks like dirt. It's flea dirt. Honestly, it's called flea poop. Because in your dog, when the flea bites your dog, it poops and it's basically like dried blood. So if you go through it, you may notice that you have some of that flea dirt in there that lets you know that there is fleas. Keep going through, all right? Not only are you going through and removing fleas, looking for ticks. You're also looking for any kind of lumps and bumps on your dog, which we should always be checking for. But you're also putting cedar oil, or you can use um, this one here. It's got the peppermint and clove, and it's kind of removing and killing anything too. And it has a residual effect of about a day or two. So, all right, I hope that makes sense. Happy flea hunting and killing. And uh, you can check out my other videos on how to keep your yard and the rest of your house uh, flea free. I'm Fanna Easter. You guys have a wonderful flea free cool summer. Yeah.